Okay guys, so this session we're going to be um, canoeing a trout. So the first process we need to do is remove the scales and obviously the sharp eyed amongst you would have noticed that this has already been descaled. However, what I'm going to do is show you the process that we use to remove the scales. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my finger and thumb just on the uh, gill covers and what I'm going to do is work from the tail in little strips all the way up the fish to the head. Okay, moving to the middle just taking the scales off right to this part and then obviously just give them a little bit of a tickle on the tummy just to remove the scales and then do the whole process the same on the second side. So working in strips to there, working in the middle, working on the flank and then obviously just give them a little bit of a tickle on the tummy and also just make sure you get underneath here and just take those scales off. Okay so we've, we've scaled it. What I'm going to do now is remove the gills Okay, so I need to turn the fish upside down again, open it up, okay, and I'm going to, you can see the gills in there. I'm going to use a knife, again, following the contours of the fish all the way around to there. Try not to break that little bit on the top there. Just come forward, put it down, and then what I'm going to do is pinch and pull these gills out to there. So I'm just going to take them out, remove them, just put that away. Okay, so I've removed the gills. What I'm going to do now is with my scissors is I'm going to remove all the fins. So this fin here, just take them all off. Because what happens if you leave them on during the cooking process, they just go rock hard. They don't look very nice and they could injure someone. Just to take all the fins off with a pair of scissors and also take off the tail as well. What I like to do is a little smiley face just to take off so it looks nice and neat and tidy. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lay the fish on its side Use a filleting knife. You can actually see where you need to go from that fin. So first of all, I'm just going to make an incision in the fish here. Go up the fish to the top of its head. I'm going to come right down. I'm going to cut right down to this particular part here. So come down to there and then stop. Okay, so into the fish. Again, following that bone structure. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the ribs. So I need to put the point of my knife in there to find that last rib. Come down, all the way down to the bottom. You can hear that noise. And then this shape of my thumb, just draw it over the ribs. And that just releases the last bit of flesh from the bone. Okay, exactly the same process on this side. Again, be careful because obviously it's a little bit more unsteady. Up to the top of the fish. Stop, lock, join up with the other cut down to the other cut at the bottom, just there, and then stop, back inside, to there. Okay, so just stroking it to there. And, and then again, over that rib cage with the, with the tip of the knife, you can hear that noise, to there. Put the knife down, use my thumb, just to free that all off. Okay, so if we look inside the fish, we can see where we've cut, to there, it's all freed off. So what I'm gonna do now is just turn it round, I'm gonna use my scissors, Use my scissors just to cut through the bone, and then what I'm going to do is lift it up. Okay, so you've got the fish there, and then just cut it all the way back to there, stop, and then I'm just going to pull it out. Okay, so what you've got there is a, is a canoed trout. The only other process that we need to do is take out the pin bones. Okay, so we're just going to put it on the side like so. Using the back of a knife, just brush up the pin bones so that we can actually see where they are. Should be the same amount of, of pin bones in the trout as it is in the salmon, so between 29 and 31 pin bones per side. So what we do now is use our pin bone pliers, put them to one side. Okay, and what we're gonna do is just gonna pull out all these pin bones as we go, all the way down. Okay, as I said to you before, our non-knife hand does as much work as our knife hand, or pin bone hand in this case. So again, pan to your fingers, you can feel where the bones are. Let's see if we can get them all removed. This side, all the way down. Okay. Turn it round, and we're going to do exactly the same process on the second side. So just brush them up. You can see by doing that, just brushes them all the way up. And again, take, take your pin bone pliers, and just take all those pin bones out. Right the way down to the bottom. Again, feeling with your pads of your fingers or thumb or whatever, just to make sure that you get them all out. 
Okay, what we need to do now is just give it a bit of a wipe out, make sure we take all the bits and pieces out, any bloodline that's in there that looks unpleasant. Turn it round and what you can do is you put any seasonal herbs in the middle, just cook it off. It's just a different way of preparing fish. And there you go, and that's how you canoe a trout.